like that. Why is it when it rains just a, a, a hair? People start flipping cars and doing donuts and just acting crazy like it's Armageddon. It's just a little rain, guys. It's not like it's acid falling out of the sky and it's going to melt your skin if it touches you. Good grief. But anyway, guys, here we go. Guys, Friday. Five down, uh, zero to go. Weekend is finally here. Saturday, we got uh, wild card weekend is out of the way. Now we got the division around. It's going to be a tough. This is where it gets really tough, guys. Um, it's going to be exciting. It's going to be an exciting weekend for football. Uh, a lot of tough teams still in it. It's going to be, you know, trying to get to that Super Bowl, man. Can't wait to see football, man. Really can't. Um, but y'all know I'm not here for that. I'm here to talk about my Dallas Cowboys. Uh, Mike McCarthy had another press conference today. Um, let me go down this street with you guys. You got to remember uh, that it's off season for the Cowboys. And they're not going to talk about everything. I was listening to the radio guys and they were talking about the, you know, the press conference and how everything was, some answers were, were, were generic and vanilla and some answers were safe. And Okay, guys, he's only been a part of the Dallas Cowboys, not even a week, maybe three, maybe four days. I'm not sure. Uh, somewhere around there. And um, he's still trying to get to know everybody. So um, if you're looking for defensive strategies, offensive strategies, what they're going to do with Dak Prescott, all that stuff. Guys, the football season hasn't even stopped yet. We haven't even got to the Super Bowl yet. Offseason technically hasn't really started. We might be out of the playoffs, but everybody's on vacation. You get what I'm saying? There's nobody at the facility. There's nobody working out. There's nobody doing anything. Um, and I'm saying this to myself as well. So I think as Cowboy fans, I know we're all excited. I get it. I'm, I'm right there with you. I get the excitement. I get it's change. This is something we've been needing. That word is something we've been needing for, for over an, a, a decade, for 20-something years is change and and uh, credibility and somebody that can take us to the promised land. Somebody that has the potential to take us to the promised land. Now, we know, I know better than anybody that we're not going to get to the Super Bowl. Uh, who knows? You never know. We probably could. I'm not going to say we're not, but there's a, there, there's a very slim chance that we make it to the Super Bowl next year. It's going to take for the, it's going to take time for this guy to fill everybody out, fill everything out, get his feet wet, uh, and get get comfortable getting getting get in a comfortable rhythm. I can't talk today. It's Friday. I'm tired. Bear with me. Uh, to, for him to get into a comfortable rhythm of this team of this offense, they don't even know what offense they're going to run. They don't even know what defense they're going to run. They don't even know who's going to call plays. Kelly Moore, or Mike McCarthy. They don't know. So uh, they're not going to make any decisions, or they're not going to answer any of your any of your questions right now. Uh, so don't let these interviews pump your head up like everything. Oh, we're going to find out something. No, nah, man. It's going to be very basic, very generic. The season is not over with yet. Uh, 2019, 2020 season is not over with yet. So uh, we just got, I think we got to pump our brakes up. And I'm saying this towards myself too. It's okay to get on here and, you know, get crunk and be excited. That's fine. You know, I'm not, everybody's grown. You do what you want. Uh, but don't, don't get your hopes up about uh, the Dallas Cowboys revealing their hand. I talked about this yesterday. The Dallas Cowboys revealing their hand on their strategy because they're not going to do that. Uh, they don't even have the coaching. He don't even have his full staff yet. Uh, they, you know, Chris Rashad is still hanging in the balance. Like he's still he's still a hangnail. And, uh, you know, they don't know what they're going to do with him. Uh, they're still hiring and firing. And, and running backs coach Gary Brown is still hanging by a thread. He's, uh, he's not in, under contract, but... The players like him, but, you know, the, the, the coaching staff is a little iffy about him. They don't know. So uh, I just wanted to make that clear because, you know, I was listening to the radio and they were all upset because he didn't say this and he didn't say that. We're not going to, they're not going to give you, give you what you want without even stepping on the field just yet. We got to step on the field first. You get what I'm saying? I know it's exciting. It's news. Everybody wants to get those views and everything, but, uh, you know, 
<laughs> they're not going to give you what you want, especially with the season not being over with and us not even starting, sm smelling, sniffing off season just yet. Uh, we still got to get through, you know, the Super Bowl, Pro Bowl, and then vacation, and then you know, come uh, what 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 May, June. You know, you got mini camp, OTAs, all that stuff. So um, we don't even know who's gonna be on this team. Uh, this season coming up, we really don't because uh, you know, you know, things can happen, things can change, players can get cut, players can get you know, free agents, you know, all that stuff. Then we got uh, the draft in April. Oh my god, I forgot about that. Yeah, we got the draft in April, so they got to see what they're working with before they can start figuring out, oh, okay, let's run this offense, let's run this defense, and you know, yada yada yada, you know. So I just wanted to put that out there, you know what I'm saying? Because a lot of people are really, really, really letting these press conferences pump their heads up like they're going to get some G14 classified information. Uh, they're going to reveal, you know, everything they're going to do when when uh, when the season starts in August. You know, we're going to run this play on this on this down, and they're not going to do that, guys. So let's just say everybody, including myself, everybody, let's pump our brakes a little bit and uh, just enjoy, you know, what we got. News is news. You know, we love it. We love change. Hopefully some more change is coming for the better. You know, but we won't find anything out. We're still in the I think season. This is the I think season, guys. Everybody, the first words they're going to say, the first phrase they're going to say, if they're, if they're on the news, if they're on the radio, if they're bloggers on YouTube, the first thing they're going to say is, I think, I think, I think that, I think. So this is the I think season, guys. I think that's another T-shirt right there. We're not off season. We're in the I think season right now. Everybody think they know every damn thing. But that's all I got, guys. Make sure you stay cowboyed up and prayed up because you never know what the day is going to bring you. Holler back at your boy. That was all in one breath. I'm out. And the only thing else I got to say is, how about them cowboys? Yeah!